I'm going to be using these two one-step gel polishes from Sally's and one is a beautiful blue and then this one here is not really true to what the cap is saying beautiful like a periwinkle purple color I'm doing like a fade lengthwise Cure that for 30 seconds. Just get a piece of mylar and you just crinkle it up. All the mylar that I use can be found at the Dollar Tree store for $1. I cut a piece of mylar that is smaller than my actual nail that I'm working on. And the reason that I do that, if you bring it all the way to the edge of the nail and then seal it and then file through that seal, that you risk having this whole piece lift off with the mylar that's on top of it when you encapsulate it. It did uh, in the past to me. So you'll want to leave a perimeter so that the piece of mylar can be completely sealed inside the nail. I do have two videos of doing this type on acrylic nails and I will include those links in the description box so you can go and check them out. I'm going to buff off the shine apply some brush on nail glues just keep gluing this mylar in place till it lays down flat it's a little bit of a challenge to do that you can come in with your scissors and just trim off spots add more glue where it might be lifted here is Madame Glam's precious stone just go around the perimeter and we're just going to go ahead and cure that. I just cap it in with clear gel. I'm going to use a very thin coat first. Go ahead and cure that for one minute. This is the second layer of gel. And I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. Building a little bit of structure and thickness so that I don't file into my mylar when I go to file it, you know. Put that in the lamp for one minute. Shape the nail and file it. As you can see right here, the gel kind of went and rolled around on the nail down the side, which is not a big deal. We just go ahead and file that and shape it up. And I'll do that and I'll be back. 